So I finally have some good news for you guys. My battery terminal plates finally came in. So I will be going through the design and how these batteries will be assembled, the hardware I purchased, and what the end result will look like. After a few months of research and development, as well as finding a good uh, supplier to have these manufactured, we ended up going with Exometry. I will link their website below. I'm not getting anything to advertise them. It was just, they were very easy to quote from. You design a part, you download it on to their website, and you figure out the type of materials you want and the tolerances, the type of inspection you want them to do. So there's a whole list of variables you could choose from to be able to design your part the way you want it. And it just ended up working out that that's who we ended up going with. So I put three pieces out in front here because these are the three main components that we will be using to assemble these batteries. This is the battery terminal that we're going to be using to connect the batteries with. This is one of the aluminum plates that will be in between the two terminals and this plate will be on the top and bottom of the two terminals of the batteries. Here's what the battery plates will look like once they are assembled. For hardware I will be using M3 by 16 metric socket, socket head cap screws with the nuts and washers that I purchased along with it with the size of an M3 screw. These holes also do have to get tapped in and I might end up loctiting the nut that goes up against the bottom part of the uh, aluminum plate so that they don't unscrew themselves or fall off. As I mentioned before, I will be running a 26S setup. So I will be putting three sets of LG Chem batteries in series. So it will end up being a 6S 60 amp hour battery. I'll run through all the battery terminals. Not all of them were cut to equal lengths. As you can see, this one has less material than some of these battery terminals. So that's why we, we ended up going with the design that we did. So here are the terminals of the batteries. And that's what they will end up looking like once they're assembled. So I will have three sets of these in the back. And I believe two in the front. And then in the front... Once all these are paired up in series, I will have a terminal on top of the battery. So as I mentioned before, this was the best way we were able to come up with a solid connection with these battery tabs. See how this one's short and this one was cut out long. This just gives you a perspective of what the terminals will look like once they're mating up against the battery plates. And then here's what I have as far as the ones that are cut out short. There wasn't much to work with because the terminals on one end were made out of copper and the other side was made out of aluminum and clearly you cannot solder aluminum and having just screws bolted on each terminal would just give us a small point of contact when discharging these batteries while running the motorcycle. So the most efficient way was to be able to use the entire surface that was given to us for the battery. I do want to mention that they did a very good job machining these parts. If I had to do this manually, this would have taken me forever because I do need... These aren't all the plates that I have. I just want to take some out just to make a video. But no burrs, no sharp edges. 
and the holes all line up so the tolerances are perfect. I don't have any negative comments to say about them. I will assemble these. Well, first I have to tap out the holes and then I will assemble them and I will show you guys my progress, but I'm super excited. Really want to share this with you guys. I know it's been a while since I made an LG Chem battery video, but now you know why. And if anybody needs help or information on how these were designed, what I ended up doing, and how these will end up working out, just please leave a comment below. I will be happy to help anybody out, but so far this is the route that I'm going with, and hope to see you guys in the next video.